Hey everyone, it's me, Ex Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new dollar related videos almost every single day. And today's video, I'm so excited because I managed to get a hold of one of the Barbie Extra Fly dolls, which is the newest line of Barbie, specifically the newest line of Barbie Extra dolls. And I'm so excited about these. So these dolls are travel themed and I just fell in love with the whole line. I decided to pick up this one because I thought her outfit was super, super interesting, specifically this jumpsuit. I don't know what that's called, but it's fine. Um, and yeah, so I managed to get her on Amazon. I will put the link in the description. I do think she's probably sold out by now, but I will still share it. And yeah, since this is a new line, I thought I'd show you in more detail the box. So the packaging is a suitcase, which I think is super, super fun. So you can see the handle says extra and it's a little rainbow. And then there's some travel stickers. So we've got maps. We've got, are those called gondolas? I don't know. Um, little airplane boarding pass very very cute so hers are winter themed because she is wearing all this winter stuff and then check out the line of dolls oh my god so here's our doll her face actually looks very different here so this is a prototype image of an older doll which is kind of interesting and then you've got the rest of the lineup aren't they so cool so they're all going to different places like she's probably going to a music festival she's probably going to the beach and he's actually really cool i'm really tempted to get him which i never say about boy dolls as you guys know and look at the little wheels on the bottom. And that's the UPC, should you need it. And yeah, let's get her out of the box. I'm really excited. Packaging design was so good. Like this packaging is some of the best packaging I've seen in a long time from Barbie. Um, I was really worried that this would be impossible to unbox, but actually was really pleasant, so I'm happy. All right, y'all, Barbie is out of the packaging and she is so cool her outfit is so sparkly and fun and her face is really interesting so we'll start there of course she does have the millie face but her lip color and just the expression on her face feels different somehow and i think she looks really really cool unfortunately the resolution of the paint on her face is really bad so she's got that pixelated face and with most barbies recently even though they have the pixelated face it doesn't like it's not super noticeable to me but this one is super noticeable so I usually say, like, as long as from far away I can't see it, I don't mind too much. Because ultimately, like, unless you're taking macro photos, which most people are not doing, it doesn't really affect much. And honestly, I kind of like the look of it sometimes. But here, like, even from far away, you can see it, specifically on the lips. So it's a bit disappointing. I hope that that's just a batching thing and later batches will look better than this. But, um, yeah, it's a real big bummer because this everything else about this doll seems to be 10 out of 10 but we'll see i haven't done the review or anything i've just i'm just looking at her in front of me and i just think she's so cool uh and this face is absolutely beautiful too so it's a shame uh because that orange peachy i don't know what to call it colored lip is really really beautiful i love it the eyebrows are super nice and thick and they're very detailed but the pixelation really drowns it out and then she does seem to have an interesting makeup look too but it looks so muddy because of the pixelation it's a huge shame um but regardless, it's still a very, very pretty face, and it's so different too, which is the main thing that I'm kind of bummed about here, because if it was a pretty generic Millie face, ultimately I would be like, yeah, I'll just find one that's not super pixelated and pop the head right on. But this doll has a very unique, like, hair blend and face, so bit of a shame, but that's okay. And then uh, mine has her earmuffs on a little bit uneven, but it's just because they were too tied there, and I can cut those and put them right back where they actually go. But they're very cute. They are a hard plastic accessory, though, so um, they just look like that. They're one color. They haven't added any paint to them, which is fine. And then I've been noticing this with Barbies lately. They're using colored rubber bands, which is super nice. I really like that. It's almost like a purpley pale pink. It's very nice. And then the hair. Look at this hair. So it is blonde saran, and uh, oftentimes curly blonde saran does not... Uh, survive packaging like it comes to you pretty messy so you're going to want to brush through this with um, like warm water or condition it conditioning it would be preferred because uh the same problem goes on with laguna from monster high ever since the beginning like you can see that laguna right there actually has a similar thing going on with her hair uh it's just it's just box hair not too hard of a fix and then let's look at that rooting pattern under there oh cute look there's purple and pink in the hair blend that is really really pretty actually look I didn't notice the purple originally. And then, yeah, typical saran rooting pattern. We're not surprised. Mine is particularly messy. Like, you can see some weirdness from the rooting process, but no big deal. I can fix it. 
and then um and the reason i don't brush the doll's hair before i do my reviews just so you know is because i want to show like this is what your doll will probably look like when you get them or this is a possibility i don't want to make them look like the the ultimate perfect doll because that's just dishonest um anyway so moving on she has what are her earrings are they like unicorn horns icicles i would have said they're seashells but she's winter themed and there's like an icicle up top maybe they're meant to be little ice cream cones not 100 percent sure i don't know it's probably something really obvious if you go to like wintry vacations but i've never done that in my life so i don't know and then oh my gosh cute look at this necklace is this a new sculpt really pretty it's got this i shouldn't even say that because i am so unfamiliar with barbie this likely this very likely already existed but anyway it's got this chain coming down to a heart and then two little um, neck pieces i don't know it's very pretty and these are tea tied in place so i'll show you how the outfit looks with the initial packaging tea ties and all of the layers on and then we'll take off the coat so the coat is really really nice it's not as soft as a lot of the other barbie faux fur stuff but that's because of the tinsel in it and i love it i love it i love it but if you like super plush faux fur accessories on dolls because of the feeling of them you won't like this one <laughs> the tinsel is very scratchy but it's it looks so pretty and i think without the tinsel this would not have paid off as nicely it looks fantastic and i love that the tinsel is that green flashing tinsel it's really beautiful really really beautiful because there's green flashes in the glitter on the outfit too it's really really nice and you can see too that it is fully lined really nice this is just an absolutely beautiful piece so cute and then you probably see that she has these fingerless plastic gloves on these are quite interesting and because barbie doll's hands don't come off to my knowledge if they do let me know i just i'm scared to try um probably not because of how these gloves are they're rubbery they're nice um they look a bit bulky but i much prefer them to how a well these are fingerless actually so a fabric glove would have been very nice but um, I, I wouldn't expect that or anything. And I think this is pretty nice too. I will put that back on later. <laughs> and then we have, are these two bracelets or one? Hard to say. It's two bracelets, two little, I wanted to say bangle, but probably not. I think they're just little bracelets. And then on this side, we don't have any. And yeah, the gloves I think are very, very cute. I'm glad that they added them because look how much better the outfit looks with the gloves versus without really cute and then look at this so i believe these almost have to be new sculpts right these are so darling so she's got well this is one piece she's got this purple belt with a metallic painted bear and that is so cute and then we have a little bear hanging down a little heart with i don't know ice or something on it and then if this is not called a gondola it's called like a cable car right i don't know um it's very very cute i was just discussing how i don't know what those are called the other day but i think gondola is right I don't know. And then um, the pink outfit is kind of the background, so I'm not really pointing it out. But once we take the other pieces off, I'll get to show you this in all of its glory because this is one of the coolest doll clothing pieces in a long time. Like, this is really, really cool. And it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm so excited about this. So as you can see, she has these really, really cute thick winter boots. I love thick winter boots. I almost want to put the, the big Mycene winter boots on her, though, because, I mean wouldn't that be so cool to have like the big chunky shoes i love a big chunky shoe i i don't know i just love a big chunky shoe i think it looks so so good and it really like adds something to the full silhouette of the outfit but these are so nice like look at the sculpt of these they're beautiful they're beautiful beautiful i wish i was more confident with paint because i really want to paint those oh look interesting i wonder if that's a, like a snow thing or what to have it like hollow there it's like no it's just cost cutting which is fine and then my favorite thing here is not something that you would immediately point out unless this is also your pet peeve but one of my biggest doll pet peeves ever is when there's a boot and a pant of some sort and the pant ends like right where the boot comes up so inevitably the pant creeps up and then you have this awkward peak of skin and in this case these are pants see but they go down far enough that there's i mean it's not likely or even very possible that that would happen naturally thank you Thank you. I don't know if that was the designers or what. Whoever did it, thank you. Oh my god. Like, I'm telling you, there are so few dolls that I've seen that actually pull this off properly that aren't, like, fully... Like, if if they pull it off at all, it's because this is fully, like, a sock. It's a full onesie thing, footy pajama type deal. I don't know. Um, so, I love this. I love this. I love this. I'm so happy with that. Sorry. That's, like, it shouldn't be something that I'm so impressed by, but it is.
<laughs> okay, so that is our wintry, amazing travel Barbie in her full outfit. I also want to show her sunglasses real quick. So she comes with these little, or I guess they're not sunglasses. I guess they're like ski goggles or something, right? I don't know. Uh, ooh, I hope they do play sets for these. Have, have, do we already know that there's play sets and I missed something? Anyway, I just want to show what these look like on. They are a darker pink than everything else. It's like, it's a Barbie pink, so it works, but it's a bit too dark, I think, with the rest of the outfit, but it is very cute. And it, it masks those um, low resolution eyeballs. And then, can you imagine if your eyes were just lower resolution than the rest of your body? <laughs> and then she has this dark purple with sparkles embedded into the plastic bag. And it's very jelly. Like, it's a very jelly bag. It's not super pliable, but it's pliable enough to work. And you can see that mine's a bit deformed from packaging. But if I just soak that in hot water, it should pop right back into shape. Not that I see myself doing that anytime soon, but if it bothered me, I could. And then you can see what the bag looks like. Again, the bag is a much darker color than the rest of the outfit, but the bag works a lot better, I think, because there's not much purple in the outfit, but purple really, really matches the outfit well. This is the only other purple. Um, I guess her hair kind of has a purple in it. She also comes with her boarding pass. This, I don't think this is meant to be an accessory. Oop! <laughs> I think this is just decor for the packaging, but I took it out anyway. And then we have, this is so cute. I love when there's accessories like this, and I feel like modern dolls don't do it as much anymore. We've got her ticket, or I guess this is a boarding pass. This is like her flight boarding pass. Super, super cute. Looks like it's a 6.30 p.m. flight. Not bad. I hope it's not too far, though. And then we have Barbie's passport. Super cool. Super, super cool. I don't know. This just reminds me of, uh, like, older dolls. Because I feel like, again, like, this... Even though these are so, like, simple, <laughs> they, like, I don't see them too often anymore. And then we have her suitcase. I love a doll suitcase. Do I have a ridiculous amount of doll suitcases? Yes, but I always love a doll suitcase. I don't know. They're so fun. So this one is pretty simple. You know, this doesn't retract or anything, but it doesn't really need to, in my opinion. I think this is very cute. So there's a charm. It is removable. So you could actually like put it on her belt or something. And it says Barbie Extra Fly on a little snowflake. Very cute. I wonder if the other ones have these little tags on their suitcases, but they're, you know, different shapes because they are not going to winter areas. I don't know. And then this is like a popsicle. So these are the popsicle sticks. Wait, no, because if these were the popsicle sticks, why would the dip be here? We'll, we'll roll with it. Anyway, these are like popsicles. And then you can open it up. It doesn't close super tightly, so like it doesn't snap shut very well. So I wouldn't actually keep anything in here, but pretty cute. Pretty nice. And you can put your little accessories in here. But again, like uh, I wouldn't trust this to actually hold them because but pretty cute, fun play accessory. All right. Now I'm going to take the coat off as much as I don't want to because I think I'm just going to display her exactly as she comes because she's beautiful. Um, I'll be taking off everything, I think. So the earmuffs, the coat, the gloves, and the belt. So I'll be right back. All right, so this part of the review, she's going to look really, really strange. It's just I really want to show you how impressive the construction of this outfit piece is. I really, really want to see if I can figure out the pattern on this and make my own doll outfits with this pattern because it is perfect it's amazing uh so i took every accessory off the earrings actually are the barbie earrings that have the big plug on the other side so you can't get them out without boiling water does anyone know why they just randomly do that it's so bizarre i feel like there's other extra dolls who have removable earrings but maybe i'm misremembering i just don't understand um and i'm not the biggest fan of the earrings with the earmuffs so if i wanted her to wear the earmuffs i would want to take out the earrings and again i'm an adult collector like i can take them out it's no big deal but I feel like for a kid, that would be really frustrating and you'd be like ripping at it and possibly rip the vinyl of your doll. So yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. Maybe it's a small parts compliance thing. I don't know. Uh, but this, I feel like is a smaller part. Anyway, so this is what her under outfit looks like. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little tangent there. So this is the neckline situation. So it's like at the neck and then you've got the sleeves very tight in there as well, but it does have some breathing room there. And then the Velcro goes all the way down to the butt. So very, very easy to take on and put off. Also, I love this fabric. This type of fabric will rub over time, but only if you really, really play with it a lot. Like this fabric's pretty durable. It's just the little metallic spots can rub over time. But uh, in my experience, like especially in a collector or a more gentle kid's hands, like they'll be fine. 
Um, so really good fabric choice. I love the darts here to help it be more fitted. It looks really, really nice. Just look at that. And then it is a bit higher waisted here, which I really like the placement of the belt for that reason. It looks really nice. And then you can see a seam in the back here as well to keep the pants quite fitted as well. And they go down to the ankle and she has little flat feet but they are not articulated flat feet. And I really appreciate the Barbie Extra doll line because, and excuse her hair, I, I cannot wait to condition this hair. It desperately needs it. It's just, um, it's a Saran box hair. This is how that happens. But Saran is a really, really nice hair fiber that lasts a long time. Uh, so she has good shoulder movement. I mean, it's, it's a Barbie body, like, so shoulder, elbow, wrist, knee, and she can sit. Um, not quite to a right angle, but it's probably the outfit blocking that, but, you know, you, I'm not even going to say it because I always say it about that. Uh, it's a very easy fix. I just wish the company would do it rather than me having to do it on every single doll that I get. All right, I'm going to put some more of the layers back on her now uh, so that we can do our final thoughts. All right, so this look is everything but the coat and the earmuffs. So, like, she's hanging out in the ski lodge. This is how you find her in there, just sitting. I don't know. She's back. She's... Maybe she's got her jacket like slung over her arm. It's a little bit warm in there. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this doll is a like cold weather dream. This is the type of doll that I've been waiting for from Barbie ever since like 10 years ago. I am so, so impressed. I think there's an extremely talented team of Barbie designers and there always has been, but there's been some weirdness, I think, with what designs actually get to make it to shelves. And also some of them just aren't my personal preference, which is fine. They don't have to be my personal preference, but this is my personal preference. I am a huge sucker for winter themed stuff. I feel like every single doll ever could be winter themed and it would never get old to me. I love it so, so much. And this doll is so Barbie to me. Like this perfectly captures to me what Barbie is. And I know Barbie is different for every person, but we've got the fun pink. We've got the glitter. We've got the like silly accessories and just everything comes together so beautifully in such a satisfying way. And I mean, to me, when I was a kid and I saw Barbie and older and Barbie doesn't have to be pink, but I love a pink Barbie. I do. Uh, and there's plenty of Barbie dolls. Like if this had been like a green and blue or like a uh, like a yellow hmm, a yellow and pink <laughs> I'm trying to say color schemes without pink in them <laughs> but you know just any other color scheme this outfit would have worked so well but I really really love it with this pink blue purple I think it's just absolutely beautiful this is truly like a 10 out of 10 Barbie release for me design wise there's some issues with the execution which uh, I don't understand the earring thing. It's really annoying. It's not the end of the world or anything. The hair is not a problem to me. I'm going to condition it. I don't care. Uh, but the face is the only actual issue I have with this doll. Uh, the earrings, easy fix. Hair, easy fix. And it's good quality hair, so I do not care how bad it comes in the box, truly, because I can fix it. Uh, and I do normally, because dolls, the target audience for dolls is for kids. And you can't really expect kids to, you know, do all this pre- pre-gaming before they get to play with their dolls also um i'm pretty sure this is a middle part line by the way yep she's got a part line under there forgot to point that out earlier i i noticed it in the packaging that this was bulging here because that's a part line but i forgot to point it out sorry um this doll is just phenomenal this is what i'm looking for when i see a pink barbie and it's been a while i mean there's been here and there some really nice barbie releases but i feel like this year we've just consistent amazing barbie releases put out and sometimes the execution of the final doll isn't amazing but the designs are just top tier i feel like we're coming into a kind of barbie renaissance going on right now and there's again i'm not refuting that there's been good barbie releases for the past 10 years there absolutely has but they've been inconsistent especially at the playline anytime i talk about release history i'm talking about the playline some of the best collector dolls i've ever seen have come out fairly recently too um, but I'm talking Playline. Like, I don't care if the best Barbie doll ever made, uh, is a collector doll that came out in 2016 and retailed for $200. That is irrelevant to me in this discussion, because I'm talking about Playline. I'm mainly a Playline collector, and Playline is what actually reflects what's going on with Barbie, because Barbie is ultimately a Playline doll brand. There's a lot of collector stuff, there's a lot of collectors, which is awesome, but, uh, what's going on at the Playline is extremely important to just what's going on with Barbie in general. And uh, Barbie has been really, really struggling to hit the mark, I feel like. Uh, and I've been saying it for a long time. And it's the reason Barbie just hasn't really been interesting me a lot, where I've been mostly for the past 10 years only buying like older Barbie dolls. It's only in the past couple of years that I've been tempted and impressed enough to 
take a second look at the newer Barbie releases. And I just, this is a slam dunk Barbie doll. I'm so, so excited to see uh, what else the Barbie team has in store for the rest of this year and into the future, especially with the big boost that the Barbie movie and the Barbie movie dolls are going to have for the brand. I'm very impressed and I'm very excited and I think there's a lot of steep competition and I think Barbie rising to the challenge is going to make all of the competition uh, feel like they need to um, improve if not just stay where they are uh, but maybe improve in concept because Barbie always has I mean not so much very recent like not so much in the past 10 years but Barbie heavily really really will play with concepts and have so much fun and give us like really really cool concepts you don't really see a whole lot in other doll lines and I feel like in the late 2000s we really really saw that like really saw it and with this line it's still Barbie extra but it's like this is the travel line and there was the gown line and we're going to be seeing more really interesting releases like that I think coming into the future and I hope extra fly continues and I hope we get some cool play sets because I am on board for this one. I only ordered this doll for now because I'm waiting until next month to um, invest in more dolls. Like, I have all the dolls that I'm probably reviewing for the rest of this month already. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very impressed. Very, very impressed. And I'd love to know what you guys think. I mean, is this just a horrible Barbie release to you and it's just for me? Uh, it's fine if it's just for me. I'm just, I love her. I'm floored, truly. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Barbie design. I just, let's make a Barbie winter dream and they all just look like this. And it's like 25 dolls. It goes on forever and they're just, just all like this. Also, this doll was designed by the same person who designed G3 Abby, which is so far the best Monster High doll I think ever created, ever. Okay. <laughs> for real this time. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Wait, I didn't even say the thanks so much, but yeah, we're done. We're done. Let me know what you think of her. And if you take a look at the other extra fly dolls, if the links are still active, I'll put them in the description, but I suspect they are not. Um, let me know who your favorite is. I'm not sure. Here, hold on. Let's, let's get the packaging. Now we're going to get to do the for real this time, see? Um, I, okay, so you guys already know my, my favorite. It's a clear winner here. I'm very curious how the tassels are done on this one because I've been kind of hating a lot of the tassels done on a lot. Is that what those are called? I don't know. Um, on some other dolls. I super liked this one. I had these two on pre-order, but I think I un-pre-ordered that one because my ship date got like really, really delayed. And I was like, I'm not waiting on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're all just so nice. This is a really solid, really, really cool line. I think I'll like this one a lot though, because she looks a lot like my favorite extra doll. Uh, I don't, I don't know their numbers or anything, but she has similar hair. Anyway, for real this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye.